Hi! Hi everyone! Welcome to Peggy's Chalk and Ink. This is Peggy Williamson and I am so happy to be here tonight. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture. And tonight I am super excited to be with you and to um, get going on something really fun. And I am just hooking into my live right now. And I am going to get her on there to see who's with me tonight. So anyway, hey, so good to see you. How's the weather? We had a 67 degree weather today, so it's not very, not very warm at my house, but it's better than pouring down rain or blizzard or a fire or all that kind of stuff. So here's what I had planned. Um, I had planned I was going to use the Dixie Bell up in smoke and I might do just a tiny bit around the edges but it's a little bit too gray and so that may not work so anyway what we're going to do here is I, I'm going to repurpose this I had made this and I um, decided that I want to repurpose it so I have this side right here so I started with my beloved little uh, 8x10 um, canvas and I painted it just a little bit with a little bit of camel okay so it does need to dry a little bit and then we're going to work on this right here <clears throat> now Dixie Bell um, has teamed up with us um, Chalk Couture and this is the color right here and it's Voodoo Gel Stain and this one is um, up in smoke and it's really gray so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a little bit here and put it on and see what it looks like on this board but my other stuff's a little bit warm so maybe it was I don't know let's see what happens I'm game I am totally game so that might not be enough let's shake it again might be in the bottom Didn't look too and if it's not, I can always go, I can always put just a little bit of uh, color with my, let's see here. Let's see if the smoke, well, it really doesn't stain a lot. So, I don't think it's going to harm anything. So anyway, you do, you need a couple coats, all right? You would just need a few coats to put on here. And this has got a gray stain, so it's just going to stain my wood board just a little bit to look a smidge different than what I already had okay so I'm liking the way it works you just put it on and rub it around and then just go around the edges until you get exactly the color that you want so um, this is looks good just took a little bit of the edge out like it made it look not like exact just open open wood so anyway, um, yes, I'm going to get some little pads for my glasses. They don't stay up. I've been trying to, to get them fitted, but I'm not having very good luck at that. Okay, so I'm just messing around here, having a good old time, and I think I'm just going to stop because I'm going to dry it just a little bit, okay? So it works just like that. You just put it on. This one's gray. So if it was on white, it would look really amazing, okay? It, it looks good anyway, but... I didn't want it to be super gray, and so I think that turned out just fine. So let's dry this up a little bit, and I want to see how your day is. Um, how's your day? If you're new here, if you're new to Chalk Tour and Chalk and learning anything about it tonight, want to know more? Uh, say hi. Say hey. Um, Peggy, how's it going? So I don't think it takes too long to dry. And I have this one over here that I want to dry too. So we'll get this one dry. Oh, I got a little smoke on there. Let's get it off. Let me just take that a little bit. And I flipped it around. They did a little messy, messy thing there. So I might have been able to put some on there too. So anyway, I'm just drying this. And what I did on here is I just took a paintbrush. Actually, I flipped that all across the... You can see that I flipped it. Probably when I shook it up, huh? 
Anyway, when I um, put it on there, I just took a brush and I just put a little bit of um, camel on the brush and I just brushed that around a little bit. Now I haven't even shown you, you probably are going to guess what I'm going to do tonight for our transfer. It's going to be the blueberry transfer for our club. So I'm pretty excited about that. And this is going to be fun. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside so it can dry a little bit. And I'm going to focus on getting my canvas dry, okay? Because we want to chalk on this canvas. So, did you know that we have Club Couture every month? And every month for $21.99, you can join and you can get a beautiful, beautiful surface and you get your ink or your chalk, whatever the case may be, for the surface that's chosen. It's kind of like a little surprise. It's like, it's like getting something really fun, you know, in the mail. Sort of like better than Amazon. Anyway, you can make it really cute. And then I made a bag. I made the blueberry bag. And so our uh, transfer and um, cut to tour of the month are blueberries. And this is what, this is what I did. And uh, it was really fun. I put it on the bag. It's a blue, uh, blue handle bag. And the blue handle bag is um, kind of a canvas type bag. And it is really, really, really cute and very fun. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my blueberry uh, transfer on here. And I hope that this fits well. I hope it fits on my canvas. And if it doesn't, we're going to make it fit, okay? We're going to just do a little bit and have a little bit of fun. I short. Hope not. Hope not. If not, I can put it on my other board over there. So we can do that too. Looks like it might be a little bit short. Let's check that out. I think it is just a little bit too small. Put that on that edge just just right. Let me hold that up and see. I don't know. It's pretty close. I don't know if we could pull it off or not. We might be able to. I'm going to try. Okay? I'm going to try. If you guys don't care, I don't care. Let's try it. I think it'll look really cute putting it in there like that, though. I think it'll look real cute. It's a little bit wet right here, right in the middle, where I... I Glob that up just a little bit. Anyway, I just want to try it because I think it's going to be really, really, really cute. And we got to have cute, right? I wish this um, canvas was just a tiny bit bigger. I thought it was going to be big enough, but you know, I could just do it without the canvas. I just wanted it raised off of the off of that repurposed board. So anyway, you can join for $21.99 a month and you can get some really fun things. We've had some really great things um, for our club couture and they, they uh, stepped up the plate for us. We used to just get one transfer and then we had to find our own um, our own surface. So they've been sitting out surfaces for us and you know what? It makes it really fun. And the transfers have really been cute. And they're, they're just a blast. So yeah, this is just a little resurface thing. So we'll just have a little bit of fun here. It's just almost dry. Let's see. I got my sander right there. Yeah, we're going to sand it just a tiny bit, so I want to make sure that it's dry, okay? So let's give that a good go over. Look how cool that looks. That looks really cool. And the longer you dry it, the better it looks. 
But I'm here for a background for something. It's, it's just going to look awesome. Alright, so I think that feels pretty dry. Alright, sorry that has to be so loud. Alright, so I'm going to take my sander. I'm going to just take this off so I'm just going to go off the top of it a little bit. Just a little. dust out. Okay. Alright. Get the dust off my hands. Okay, now I'm going to take my fuzzing cloth here. Well, actually, I'm going to fuzz my transfer. I have used it once. I used it on the bag, and I used ink. Ink will come in if you buy this, if you go to the website and you purchase this, you go to Peggy's Chalk and Ink, Inde Independent Designer, you go Peggy's Chalk and Ink, Wild Chalk 1, um, you can go onto my site and you can purchase this, okay? And you can purchase the whole thing for $21.99. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I fuzz that now, and now I'm going to wax my surface. And when you wax it, it just um, keeps the transfer from sticking like crazy. So you just put it on there like so. I'll put a little wax on there. Just a little bit. And you can tell by the sound that it gets just better and better. Kind of see a little bit of a, a look there. And just buff that out. Put that wax right out of it. Grab your rag, and I I wanted to make sure I didn't get a glob or anything there, and just look at that, my towel just skids right over the top. Now, we're going to have a little bit of fun here. I'm going to see if I can make this fit as best we can, okay? So I'm going to put that right think so. Okay, now let's hold that up and look. Okay. Yep, I think that looks cute. Yeah, I think we can fudge that just enough. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> looks good. Yeah, I think it's going to look fine. All right, now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put my cloth inside. Let's fold that long ways a little bit. And we're gonna put that right under here. Because when you put, when you go to push down on your transfer with your squeegee, that'll fill up the back. Because there's always a back, always a back on there. Okay, so there, that makes it nice and filled up and full, okay? So, I'm going to make sure that I got that. Do I want to get that blueberry on the bottom or does it really matter? Hmm. I think it looks pretty good. I think it's fine. I think I could... Could move that up just a smidge. I'm not gonna go. It looks really good. Okay, so what I have here is I'm gonna do some. Um, we have the new color uh, ballet slipper. It's a beautiful pink. Absolutely gorgeous. It's brand new. This will be my first time using it, and I'm just gonna open that a little bit because we're just gonna use just a little bit. I wanted you to see how beautiful. And of course, as usual, I get a little bit in my, and so that's going to be right there. I'll put that down for a minute, because I'm going to go over this whole thing. Yeah, I'm going to go over the whole thing in black. Okay. Oh, that's kind of old. That's 
grab a new one. Gosh. So this is this is black velvet, and it looks pretty darn good. Let's give it a stir though, just to make sure. You want your paste to look like yogurt, and it looks a little tiny bit thick, okay? So when we're doing anything with our um, chalk, it needs to be nice and yogurty smooth, and it just feels a little bit dry. So I'm gonna just stir that, give it a little bit of a good stir here, and make sure we have a nice consistency, okay? So we want a real yogurty. And it is feeling a little bit stiff still, so I'm gonna do just a smidge, just a little smidgy. You don't want it too stiff because then it won't go through the transfer, but you also don't want it too runny because then it'll bleed, okay? So yes, just like when you're cooking, okay? It's gonna be just right. Just like, what is that, the three bears? It's gotta be just right. All right. Okay, so let's do it. Let's get my squeegee out. Okay. All right, so I have this one. And I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna put it around my favorite way. Just get this on here. Get enough to go through, okay? And a little bit on my squeegee, all right? So I'm just gonna go across. This is gonna be so cute. It's so fun already. Now, no matter how you wanna do it, you just wanna lay that down Get enough on there. This is a big coverage, so you just want to get enough on there so that you can get it swiping down over the whole top, okay? So, yeah. Just go down, get it all covered. This black can be a little bit All right, now I'm gonna put this back into my, make sure I got all that. Okay, put the excess back into your jar. It doesn't take as much as it seems to, to use this paste. The paste goes a long way. So now we're gonna go and swipe that off. Put the excess back in the jar. Sure you've got your okay and then we're going to pull okay and are we ready okay, I'm gonna put a little bit back up here now this is the thing that you can do if you miss just a little bit with your squeegee, you can go back and put that right on there and go back over that. Yeah, that looks perfect. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks good, you guys. And if you go nice and slow, you can fix anything that you need to fix. Yeah, that's good. Very good. I'm going to go stick it in the sink. All right. That is looking so good. Look how cool that looks on that background. Look at this. Turn that around so you can see. Doesn't that look great? That just looks super cool. Super cool, even by itself. It wasn't even that bad of an idea to, to uh, 
put it on there like that. So, yeah. All right, so now, here we are again with the dryer. We gotta dry it. So, when I'm doing this, I'm, I'm always kind of looking down and I don't need to. It's just that I kind of gotta pay attention because well, I have even the black on my fingers right now. So, and yes, I pushed my glasses up. Hi, Dolores. <laughs> I, I'm going to order the pads to put on my glasses, okay? Thank you for sharing that with me. Alright, this is where the fun begins here in just a little bit. We're going to dry this just a little bit. And then I'm going to add a few colors to it. And we'll have a little bit of fun, okay? Just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, this is so darn cute, you guys. Okay. I think it turned out great. Really good. Very, very rustic. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, that looks for the dry to me. Dry to dry. Looks dry. Okay, now I'm looking at my I'm looking at my frame over here. And I think I want just a little bit more to go in my frame. Just a little bit more. I think I want to add just a little bit. I think so. So let me set this one right over here for now. Let me go to work on this for a little bit. All right, let's just get this little bit of black, which we already got, and got my tray. So let's just do that. Got some black on there. We're just gonna mix a little, okay? Stir stick. Let's just get a little bit in here. We'll stir that together. And we'll make our own little creation. Okay, so I just put black and this um, camel together. And it's going to make it a little grayish, but that's kind of not what I wanted. So I might add teensy, weensy bit of yellow. Let's get just a little, little, little bit of yellow. And let's see how that looks. We're just going to warm that up just a little. Yeah, that looks a little better. A little more tan in there. Okay, let's just get a little more. I guess maybe I should have used a little bark. That's okay. It's all right. Making your own is kind of fun. Yeah, there we go. All right, see how that looks? Okay, now I'm just going to grab my paintbrush. There it is. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my board and a little bit on my brush. Okay. We're just going to go through and we're just going to swipe that around just like, just like I kind of did the other and it doesn't really matter. I just want some around the edges here. You just can bring that through like so. That's going to look great. And that 
And we'll take that across and just go like so. Okay. Right, let's get a little more here. And just a little more here. Okay. And my phone is ringing. Wow. My phone is ringing. Okay. Let's get just a little bit over there, too. Okay. Now I know I'm not paying attention too good looking down, but I just want to get that there. good. Okay, there we go. All right, what do you think? That's looking good so far, isn't it? Oh, this one is charging. This phone's charging. Okay, that's yeah. super happy. Okay, we got that. Take a wet wipe. And this is my favorite thing. You guys already know this. Squirt that. Go right here like this. And go around the edges. Alright. Go around the edge. And just take a little bit of what we got here. <laughs> we got now our truck worked on, so, or a car, or whatever, and lost yeah. the keys, so we had to find the keys. So, yeah. Isn't this fun, you guys? This is so fun. And this makes any board look really, really cool. Okay, so remember, whenever you're doing something, never fear. You can always paint with a wet weight. And it actually gives a better, smoother, um, sometimes, look than your paintbrush, okay? So now, I'm much happier with this. I'm just gonna go in here, because I don't want it to be perfect. I do wanna get it in the parts. Okay, I'm gonna smooth that out just a little bit. And that looks super good, look. Isn't that cool? Yeah. That is really cool. Let's look inside here, make sure I got that edge. Thanks for sharing with me if in case I miss my edge. All right, yeah. Yes. Okay, stuck my finger in there as usual. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. I'm, I, it all washes off. That's the best part. Okay, now we're going to take the dryer once again. Dry this. No, actually, let me set this aside. And let it dry for a bit and I'm gonna grab my I'm gonna grab our grab our other one. Let's grab it. Got it back. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Okay, we're gonna grab that back. And I need I'm gonna take this a little bit of water in it. We are gonna make some blueberries. Okay, so we got some blueberries here. And we got um, some blue for blueberries, okay? Let me find my brush. Let's try this one. A little bit of water. A little bit of water with Cadet. This is Cadet, you guys. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. No hurry, no reason to be in a hurry. Uh, just kind of you know, a little bit there and we get in a bit of a hurry. This is such a cute transfer. Absolutely cute. Let's get that water right around in there a little bit. Get that little blueberry looking cute. Now I'm going to take my other little brush, a little brush here, right there. So we go in here, a little bit of our ballet 
lace slipper. I'm just going to put a little tiny bag in there. And give that just a little bit of a different look there. And we're going to put a little up in here. And make that have a little bit of a different look there. And just a little bit of shading. Okay, just a little. Can you see that? Isn't that cool looking? Get a little over in here. I'll just put a little in all of them because I got my brush out here. To, I like to shade a little bit when I'm painting, so yeah, it's kind of fun. Okay, and then let's get a little shading over there, a little bit of the pink, put a little bit on there. A little dab will do you, wherever you want it. Wherever you want it, it'll look just great, okay? Okay, so that one looks really good. We got our, okay? We're going to get that a little wet again. We're just going to get a little bit of our blue. And let's just, let's just go in here and kind of circle that around. Anyway. Sorry, I'm looking down, I'm looking down at, the, my, at my design here, and it's looking really cute. Really cute. How fun is this, you guys? This is just great. Absolutely great. All right. Get a little. watercolors. Yes, I do. And you can just get that and fix that right up. Yep. And yeah, I'm kind of quiet. Sorry. I'm being quiet because I'm trying to paint here. Pay attention. That's what I'm trying to do. Pay attention. I'm sorry. Pay attention. Yeah. Looks good. Good fun. This this uh, ballerina slipper pink is wonderful. Yeah. How do you see that on there? You see that so far? Look. Isn't that great? Mm-hmm.
here and get a little on this one. <laughs> so pretty. Just so cute. So these is what look like blueberries. I think it looks like blueberries. Yeah. I'm the one making it, so. Okay. So there's our blueberries. We're all done with that. We're going to go in with some green and probably use a little bit of my deeper color for the branches. branches We'll make this these just a little bit, just a little bit darker than what they are. And it looks good. It looks real good. And then we'll get to the leaves, okay? Then we'll get to the leaves. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. This is really kind of fun. Set there. There we go. Just a little bit. A little bit there. Yeah. Yeah. Looking good. Looking real good. blueberries you've ever seen? I think so. I do. Of course I would though, right? <laughs> So fun. All right, now we'll have the green. Wipe my brush. And we'll get some green. Put the lid on there. I'm afraid I'll stick it in my. <laughs> All right. Okay, I want just a little yellow.
Let me be win. Let me be win. You guys hanging in there with me? All right, good. Okay, we're just gonna get a little bit of this so we can get a little of that and a little of this and go for it, okay? Okay, a little bit of water. All right. really funny but it is it's really cute I want just a little bit of yellow in there because sometimes in these leaves when they're out out in the um, um, what do they call that um, the garden is it a blueberry garden I don't know if that's what it's really called but it's like my blueberry garden so that's what I would call it so I would just um, see a little bit of yellow sometimes on there perfect. I don't feel like it's super perfect here. So, so. Let me see what's kind of going on in here. And I'll add a little green. A little more. You guys, this so cute. So cute. I love this transfer. This transfer is the best ever. Okay, we're getting there. We are. We're totally getting there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to get just a little bit of edging here. Just change out that brush a little bit. And get this point right down here. Just a little bit. There we go. Just a little bit of a point, and then we'll bring that out. Okay. I'm gonna just bring that out just a little bit. I'm a two-fisted painter. <laughs> some white this and one more little thing there. There we go. 
about that now, just a little bit of my you guys think? Do you think it looks okay? I think it is so fun and such a blast. Okay, now I'm going to put my lids on. How fun is this, you guys? This really is fun. All right, now. Okay, is there anything else you think we should do? Besides dry it a little. Let's dry it a little. And let's talk about our chop couture and how wonderful chop couture is. I've been a chop couture designer for a little over three years now. And we just have amazing on trend designs. We have something for everyone. We have um, we have embroidery now, so that if you're an embroiderer and you would like to embroider some things with our um, ink, um, it is absolutely fantastic. I can certainly show you exactly how to do that and you would have a ball. So you could incorporate the ink and the embroidery together and have some on-trend ideas and embroidering is quite fun and making a great comeback. When I was a youngster living at home, I embroidered, um, and I also did some looming, so I did all kinds of fun things when I was a kid. So I'm glad to see that these are trending out with some extra texture for some of our items. So, yeah, that's looking good. I think that's right, I think we're good. And I really love this ballet slipper, you guys. This is really, really beautiful. It's a gorgeous pink. Okay, let's put the lids on. Let's get everything out of my way. Because I am going to bring back our tray. And I'm feeling like this is all in my... Well, it's not a tray. I didn't mean to say tray. Um, it's, it's our um, surface, our big surface. Okay, what do I do with it? Uh, here it is, right up here. Right up here. Oh, look how that dried. That really dried so cool. Look. Look at how beautiful that dried. That looks awesome. That was exactly my intention. And here's what my intention is going to be now, what that looks like. And I hope that you like this as much as me. Let me hold that up before I glue it, because we're going to glue it. Look at that, you guys. What do you think? Is that cool? Isn't that beautiful? Okay, I'm going to turn this around and get ready to glue it, okay? And I'm probably going to have to be a little bit fast. And I'm just going to play it by ear here. And I think that's about right. Just a little bit that way. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do now. This is dry. This is dry. I want it to be dry. Okay, so we're going to take this. We're going to make sure we got enough glue. Oh, my. Didn't lose my glue tonight, you guys. I'm red. 
<laughs> clean my clean my spot and then lose my glue, right? Okay. Let's see if this is working. So I might have to push on it a little bit as I'm going. This is my new one. It's not as Take everything and just redo it. All right, ready, set. That's about right, don't you? I think so. If not, that's what it's going to go with. Okay, now I'm just going to hold this down. Push those down. Now, if you wanted to, you could. Let me hold that up so I can see it for a second. Yeah, I know that looks good. Okay, look. You could do um, some E6000 on here too if you want that to be super, super, super glued forever, forever. All right, so what do you think, you guys? Is that absolutely fantastic? Now, now what I have over here is I have some, I don't, I don't think this requires a, a ribbon. I honestly don't. And you know what? I think for the first time, and I don't know how long, I, <laughs> I am not going to do a ribbon. What do you think? I, I think it speaks for itself. And I really kind of like the smoke that, sh that showed through there. So this is smoke. And then remember, I took um, a little black and mixed it up with my camel. And just kind of gave it a little bit of a brush look. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember, this is our Club Couture. We have perks too. Perks members have great specials every single month. They save 30% every time they order. And you can certainly become a designer. You get 40% off. And you can teach, learn, uh, learn all kinds of things. So anyway, if you have any questions, just give me a PM. And I will definitely show you all the goods. So there it is. Repurposed. Repurposed tonight um, for our fun. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, thank you. Like, share, sprinkle, follow, and all of that good stuff. And join my team if you'd like to. I'd love to have you on my team. Thank you. Love you all.